Family, this is the door of no return. We name door of return for ancestors. We walked out, this door never came back. And those that are the returnees, descendants are returning. And this is the classic shot that we have for you. As you mentioned, the door of return, because yes, we have returned. Against all odds, we have returned to reconnect, reclaim, and so take re rebuild our connection. Then I'll explain to you. Now, time to take photos. Take your photos first, and I'll explain to you. Take your photos. Yes, yes, sir. I was experienced so far. Intense. Yes, like about man, to collapse. Very intense, man. I'm Trouble your stomach. All right. Huh? Mine, everything. Look, man, like I told you before, man, reparations is good, but part of reparations is revenge. Retributions. Retribution. Get back well, you know what, like I tell, I'm, I'm, I'm telling them, you know what I'm saying, if they don't pay us reparations, we come and we control the minerals. That's our reparation. Make them pay to get our minerals. I'm, I love all of my ideas. Huh? I love all of those ideas. Yes, yes. Just not my kicked them all kicked, all, kicked all the Europeans out of Haiti. Yeah. We need to start yeah. being the two sots of this, this uh, yes, generation I mean. and this century. Mm -hmm. and kick the colonizers off of this whole country and then go to the next country and the next one until they're all gone. These are evil, evil people. How yes. do you do this? This wasn't an accident. When you look at how this was built and crafted and created, this was thought out, and it was thought out with us in mind. These are families, real. Ame! Ame! Family, it's real family. What, what did he say? A go is trying to get your attention in response to Ame. Uh, you got my attention, basically. Now, this is the door of no return. We saw it coming, the door of no return. But the original door of no return was very, very small and narrow. It was constructed for one person at a time. So they would go through one after the other. They would put them on boats. The boat would take them to the bigger ships. That was it. But the door was expanded into this during colonial time. And this is not the original one. We happened to go to the Elmina castle. Elmina has the original one. That's why we changed. And because the door was narrow, this was a staircase that British used. So they use this one comfortably. African use this more If you look back this way, there is something like a wall which is broken out. I'm yes, sorry, you keep on bumping your father. That right. wall was built from this corner of the castle by the British. They built it long into the sea. The British built the wall as a boundary to separate them from the local people. So locals who were here before they came, they limited them to, a, to the wall. They were at the back. So they call this place White Man's Beach. Or Abrafum Puano. But now the war is broken. I was going to rename it. So the Devil's local Beach. people are in control. So this is now it's called Obibinim Puano. It's now called Obibinim Puano. That's Black Man's Beach. Black Man's Beach. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I like that one better, yeah. <laughs> better than White Devil's Beach. And if you go through the door of no return, during the time of slave trade as a black person, one, you will lose your identity. You lose your culture, you lose your respect, dignity, and everything. And from here, most of the captives were taken to North America, places like Jamestown in Virginia, North and South Carolina and others, and almost all the original British states at that time in America, about 13 of them. Some of them were taken to England, Liverpool. And Liverpool was the biggest slave harbor in the whole of Europe at that time, Liverpool. Some were taken to Bristol, Bahamas. Trinidad and Tobago, including Jamaica, from here. But those taken to Brazil, Brazilians passed through Elmina Castle, through the hands of the Portuguese. Because Brazil was a Portuguese colony. Some of the Brazilians were also taken from Angola, East Africa. Portuguese went to Angola and Congo. But places like Suriname, Haiti, Dutch Guyana, Curaçao, and others also passed through Elmina Castle, through the hands of the Dutch. And Brazil received the largest number of slaves from Africa. Brazil alone got 47% of the entire slave from Africa. And Brazil is the second largest black population in the whole world, second to Nigeria. Exactly. As is speaking now, 21st century, Brazil have about 94 million blacks. 
Uh, yeah, as a 21st century. Yes. Apart from Nigeria, which has more than 200 million people, no African country has that black population. Cameroon, some of them were taken to French, Caribbean, and then uh, uh, most of the Caribbean, Haiti, Caribbean islands. They said like the Igbos would commit suicide, like they would jump over, so they stopped taking them. They stopped capturing. In fact, in fact, most of them committed suicide, not only the Igbos, but as to whether they stopped taking them. In fact, I don't have that to record. I have no idea. Because at that time, the system was such that there was no respect of tribe or person. Because the wars were all over, and the wars were created by the troops. So whether you are Igbo, you are Yoruba, you are Kukumba, you are Akan, you are... But I don't have that. But there were suicides? Like there were suicides. Wait, now, let me... Some of the women, they would give birth, they didn't know they were pregnant. Some of the women get robbed by a ship. No. It was, it was... It, then that was premature back because the journey was just about six weeks. And here three months. Maximum three months and six weeks. So I don't think that period that the child will mature enough to be to be given bed. That might be premature bed. And then uh, when they were crossing the Atlantic Ocean in the mother passage, it was the treatment given to them was even worse. African people. They packed them like sardines. They tied their hands and legs in chains and they arranged them on deck. They arranged them, somebody here, somebody here, in that order. They arrange them head to toe, toe to head, that kind of thing. So, for instance, if there are about five or ten on a row, those are the top if they urinate to pass everybody to the bottom. They vomit the same thing. So those are the bottom where are the receiving end. So most of them also did not survive. And some also, because of the situation, some of them committed suicide on the way. A lot of things happened. So before they got to their destination, sometimes close to half of the people died. And sometimes when they were going and then they saw that there, 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 there was shortage of food, stuff, intentionally they would throw some of the captives overboard so that the little food that they have can take care of the fuel to the, their destination. So a lot of things happen. And not all that we can, we can tell anybody. So we have the door of return going. The return is symbolic. Hello, are you all here? Are the ones who want to? Yeah, we are returning. Now let me explain for return. The return is symbolic. It came 1998. There was a ceremony in Ghana called Emancipation 98. During that time, skeletons of two enslaved Africans, they called them Samakas and Madame Cresta, were exhumed and brought from New York and Jamaica. Brought the skeletons to a crowd. A crowd to Anuma, Anuma, they used to go to this place. They put them in two caskets. The door was open. They were taken through to go and show you the graves for short African funeral ceremony. From there, they took the skeletons of the two African people to a nearby town called Asin Mansu. That is where we have the slave river for real barrier. So because two skeletons came and are with us on our soil buried, that is why we have renamed the door, the door of return. It means out of the millions taken away, two skeletons were brought, a male and a female. And that is telling her that at least once in our lifetime, especially Africans like you, we should come back to Ghana, for that matter, Cape Coast Castle, and go to the door of return. That is only what we have done today, December, the year beyond return. So we are all returning. I'm back. There you go. Yes, family, we have returned and returned strong. I'm back. The nation building. So from the door of no return to the door of return. For us. For us saying yes. <laughs> As we return, there is a quama here. Aquaba simply means welcome. Welcome. In your right, you say Kabo. 
And this aquaban was not here. It wasn't part of the construction. No. It came just about 11 years ago. It was to welcome Michel Obama. Because Michel Obama and Cestus were enslaved women. Yes. Wow. Yes. wow. She must be so, very, yes. very special. That was one of the reasons why President Obama came to yes, Ghana. Yes, Madam yes. Yes. Castle. Yes. So the day they passed away, the day they returned from the Dove like they did now, yeah. symbolically, this was built to welcome the former US President Michel Obama. Beautiful. So you are all welcome for love. You are welcome. Well, there you go, family. Use that energy. Thank you very much. Give you one last view, family. Our ancestors sailed out from the, those, those waters, and here we are returning. We're here with our friends.